Celtic Myths and Legends by T. W. Rolleston. The Judgment of Amergen. The Milesian Host After Landing. Advance to Tara, where they find the three kings of the Danans awaiting them, and summon them to deliver up the island. The Danans ask for three days' time to consider whether they shall quit Ireland or submit or give battle. And they propose to leave the decision upon their request to Amergen. Amergen pronounces judgment. The first judgment, which was delivered in Ireland, he agrees that the Milesians must take their foes by surprise. They are to withdraw the length of nine waves from the shore and then return. If they then conquer the Danans, the land is to be fairly theirs by right of battle. The Milesians submit to this decision and embark on their ships, but no sooner have they drawn off for this mystical distance of the nine waves than a mist and storm are raised by the sorceries of the Danans. The coast of Ireland is hidden from their sight, and they wander dispersed upon the ocean. To ascertain if it is natural are a druidic tempest which afflicts them. A man named Aranon is sent to the masthead to see if the wind is blowing. There is there also or not. He is flung from the sweeping mast, but as he falls to his death, he cries his message to his shipmates. There is no storm aloft. American, who, as poet, that is to say, druid, takes the lead in all critical situations, thereupon chants his incantation to the land of Erin. The wind falls, and they turn their prows rejoicing towards the shore, but one of the Milesian lords, Eber Don, exults in brutal rage at the prospect of putting all the dwellers in Ireland to the sword. The tempest immediately springs up again, and many of the Milesian ships, founder Eber Don's being among them. At last, a remnant of the Milesians find their way to shore and land in the Catuary of the Boyne, and it's interesting. My stomach is starting to uh, in the in the middle of okay. The storm ceased. Um, but one of the things that could happen when you involve your uh, when you well when people involve themselves in sorcery are when people um deal with the existence of sorcery and respond to it, they may end up witnessing some things that happen seemingly on a physical level, but if they're unexperienced, they're going to think it is on a physical level. Um, or they may be, become aware of different levels, storms and earthquakes and all sorts of interesting things can occur.